Hello everybody, how's it going? It has been quite a while and I'm sorry about that. I uh, had a lot going on and stuff and it's still not fully resolved. I don't want to go too much into it, um, but some weird job stuff going on. But yeah, I'm finally back. We're going to do some streaming. We're going to do some Shadowfall drag, dra <laughs> Shadow Fall Dragon Run or something to that effect. No. Uh, Shadowrun, Dragonfall, I yeah. Oh, we're off to a great start as always. But yeah, I, I actually like that. Shadowfall, Dragonrun sounds pretty great too. I'd play that. Um, but tonight we're just going to do plain old Shadowrun, Dragonfall. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. But yeah, uh, we're going to start a new game here. Well, that's, yeah, I, I have not actually played this particular game before. I've played the uh, Shadowrun, Shadowrun Returns, uh, but not this one. I've heard it's very, very good. Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut. The year is 2054. The promise of opportunity and anonymity draws you to the free city of Berlin, the Fuck State, a grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon Lalwer only has so much sway in the constantly evolving power structure of Berlin, the perfect place for a savvy Shadowrunner to disappear and begin anew. If only it were that simple. Alright. And what are you doing over here? But yeah, what do we want here? Maybe, let, yeah, let's go ahead and do hard here. All right. Boop, boop. Choose, create your character. Let's see here. Oh man, so many choices. We're going to be here for a while, probably. Uh, Quickness and Charisma. These guys are balanced. Humans were the only race on Earth until the Awakening in 2012. Now they find themselves the definition of average or even normal. They are still the most populous race in world and thus control many of the most powerful, moneyed, and important positions in society. Alright. Um, but yeah, we might change race. Let's see. Normally I'd pick something oh wow if you feel comfortable with the way characters are built in Shadowrun you may create your own character by mixing skills and attributes as you wish I did not remember that that was an option that's pretty cool I want to see what mage has to offer though oh mage is specialized in the casting of spells but that doesn't mean they can't shoot guns as well rather magic is the center of their life their spells reflect a pure balance of the mana sphere and cover a wide range of magical effects from offensive damage attacks to character augmentation or degradation spells to healing spells. But yeah, normally I'd pick something combat oriented, um, like weapon oriented, uh, but I want a change so I'm going to build my main character as a mage this time around. I do... Uh, Wish I, I kind like I kind of want to go in and do that, do it custom, but I don't think so. All right, so it does look like willpower is the key attribute. Ooh, dwarves have willpower. I don't really feel like being a dwarf though. I think I'll just stick with being a human. Damn, trolls are tough. That 17 body and 15 strength. Damn. 
Okay, we'll just stick human. The classic. Oh, wow, that changes portrait as well as... God, the graphics. Not so great. We might do like that. That's a good mage -y look. The classic hood. Damn. Some badasses. Let's see. That guy's kind of cool looking too. Damn. Alright, I think we're back to the beginning here. Yeah. There we've got hood guy. We don't get a hood in game though. As well as like one of these guys would be alright too. Yeah, let's do the. Let's do the. I still haven't quite made up my mind. Hood guy or. Like one of these. Guys. Let's just do hood guy. Oh wow. There we go. We can customize there. Yeah. Stick with white there. Ooh, we got a bunch of different hairstyles. Variety, I should say. We, I don't know if there's a bunch yet. Yeah, it's nice when hairstyles actually look different. Yeah, God, the, the graphics, not, not so great. It should be fine once in-game, though. Oh, we changed hair color too. Yeah, there are quite a lot of different ones here. Did we go around already or did it like reset without me noticing? like that. Yeah. Ooh, and we can have a beard too. That beard color, yeah. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and you can have horns to it. I guess that's if you're like a troll. Anyway, that looks good enough for now. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve attributes and skills. An attribute or skill rating can be increased by spending karma equal to the next increment of that rating. Thus, improving your body from 4 to 5 requires you to spend 5 karma points. All right, let's see what we got. Body quickness, strength, intelligence, willpower, charisma, interesting. Body determines, and we've got nine available right now. Body determines physical resistance to physical damage increases chance Oh, and you can jump around too. Okay, so that increases hit points as well as like resistances. Used to calculate the chance to hit in ranged combat. And we've got some special abilities and stuff too, as well as like each one you can specialize in. Ranks. Pretty cool. Intelligence. That's more tech oriented. Willpower. Here's the magic. Uh, main component to calculate the chance to hit with certain spells. 
We'll probably want one in spell casting. Hmm. Maximum for dwarves. Playlines visible. Okay. What main component calculates against his with, with adept powers? I wonder what adept powers are. Hmm, there's a lot going on here. Maybe I'll just leave the remainder to spend on like willpower or spellcasting when we get more. The other thing is of course I could put a little bit into combat, like I could increase ranged combat or quickness. Ooh, overwatch. As a spellcaster we probably don't want that too much though, but we, we could still get a little bit in ranged combat here. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and get a little bit in ranged combat. I don't know what... Um. Okay, and that's what I thought. You do need to unlock the corresponding skill here before you get the next one. Um, so you have to have range 2 before you can get pistol 2. Um, I don't know which one we're going to... Uh, need. Uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and be done for now. Are you sure you want to finish character creation? You may spend karma later. Yeah, that's fine. And we can choose an etiquette. Etiquette. <laughs> etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. Choose an etiquette does not cost karma and each etiquette can only be chosen once. All right, we're going with like the kind of um, roguey mage kind of person. So that's probably, I wish it did give a little bit more description. Maybe street or shadow runner. Be shadow runner. Name your character. Let's be keen. There we go, let's do this. The Harfeld Manor Run. And let's go ahead and stop the recording here, and then we'll be right back for the next one. Hey, Blazer, how's it going? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. So this will be the character creation video, and then we'll go on to the start of the mission. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll be right back. Peace.